Welcome to the deep dive. Today, um, we're diving into MHS building systems yeah. and how they're approaching modern housing. Interesting stuff. You sent us some details on their system, yeah. and it really got us thinking about the future of multi-generational living. It's a fascinating time to be looking at this. Yeah. You know, the Pew Research Center found that multi-generational households are on the rise. Oh, wow. With, uh, with many adults between 25 and 34 living with family. So there's real need for housing that can accommodate that. Exactly. Absolutely. And MHS is doing something pretty unique. Yeah. You know how some of the most innovative ideas come from blending the old with the new? Uh -huh. Well, their system is actually inspired by building methods used in Asia for centuries, but modernized for today's homes. Right. It's a really interesting mix of tradition and cutting edge technology. And it all starts with the core of the system, structural aluminum framing. Cut. Instead of using typical lumber or steel, right. they use aluminum to create this sleek, modern framework. Think of it like the skeleton of the house. Okay, so aluminum framing. Yeah. That's not something you hear about every day. Right. What's the advantage there? Well... I mean, most people probably picture wood or steel when they think about house construction. Aluminum brings a lot to the table. Yeah. Both in terms of practicality and sustainability. So oh, cool. First off, it's incredibly strong and lightweight. Okay. Which makes it easier to work with and transport. Uh-huh. But what's really fascinating is its recyclability. Okay. You can recycle aluminum over and over again without losing any of its structural integrity. So if a building made with this system is eventually taken down, the aluminum can be completely reused. Exactly. That's pretty amazing from a waste reduction standpoint. It speaks to the idea of a circular economy in construction. Oh, wow. A future where buildings aren't just demolished but disassembled and their materials are given new life in other structures. It's like the house has multiple lives then. Yeah. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's break down how this system actually works. Okay. What's this about prefabricated units? That's a key part of the MHS approach. Okay. They use a modular system, meaning they create these prefabricated units in a factory. Interesting. Kind of like yeah. giant Lego blocks. Oh, wow. And then transport them to the building site. Logistically, how does that even work? Yeah. I mean, these are houses we're talking about, not tiny toy pieces. It's more complex than Legos, of course. Right. But the principle is similar. Okay. These units are designed to be transported efficiently and then assembled on site. So they're just thinking about the logistics of it all yeah. from beginning to end. Exactly. That's pretty impressive. And think of it like a puzzle. Okay. Where all the pieces are carefully crafted beforehand. So if I'm picturing this right, a truck pulls up with these giant wall or roof sections. Mm -hmm. And then they're basically pieced together like a 3D jigsaw puzzle on the foundation. You got it. Wow. And this modular approach actually allows for a lot of customization. Because they're pre-designed, yeah. you can mix and match different sizes and layouts. Okay. Maybe you want a larger living area or an extra bedroom. So I could choose. Yeah. Like I could choose to have you can customize a, a bigger kitchen or exactly. like a bigger living room or whatever I want. And then finish them to your taste. So it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. You can actually have a say in how your house looks and functions. Absolutely. That's amazing. And that ties into what makes this system particularly well-suited for multi-generational living. Oh, okay. Imagine a cluster of these modules, uh -huh. each a self-contained living space, all arranged around a central courtyard or shared area. So you could have like the main house where maybe the younger generation lives. Right. And then attached to it, a separate module that serves as a granny flat or in-law suite with its own kitchen and living space. Precisely. That's yeah. a really cool idea. And it's not just about physical separation. Think about the emotional aspect, too. Grandparents or older relatives could have their independence and privacy while still being close to the family. I like that. It's a way to address the changing dynamics of modern families in a thoughtful way. It's like you're creating a little village within a home where everyone has their own space but can easily come together for meals or gatherings. Exactly. That's so cool. And that's just scratching the surface of what makes this system so innovative. Oh, wow. We haven't even touched on its sustainability features beyond the recyclable aluminum. Right. Think about things like energy efficiency disaster resistance. Okay. There's a lot to unpack there. Okay. Color me intrigued. Let's dive into those aspects next. All right. When we talk about sustainability in housing, it's about 
more than just the materials. Right. It's about how a building performs over its entire lifespan. Okay. And that's where the MHS system really shines. You're talking about things like energy efficiency and disaster resistance. Yeah. I'm curious how those tie into the overall picture. They're all interconnected. Mm. Let's start with energy efficiency. Okay. Imagine you're living in a house built with these modules. Okay. Because they're designed with insulation and ventilation in mind, you'd naturally need less energy for heating and cooling. So lower energy bills. Exactly. Which is always a plus. Right. But how does that translate into a smaller carbon footprint? It's all about reducing reliance on fossil fuels. Okay. If your house is designed to stay naturally cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter, right. you're putting less strain on the power grid, which in many places still relies heavily on coal and natural gas. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's not just about being comfortable in your home. It's about making choices that benefit the environment on a larger scale. Mm, precisely. I like that. And then there's the whole issue of disaster resistance. Uh, Remember how we talked about aluminum being strong and flexible? Yeah, you mentioned it being able to withstand earthquakes and storms better than traditional materials. Right. But I'm still wrapping my head around how that works. Well, think of it this way. Okay. Traditional wood-framed houses can be vulnerable to high winds and seismic activity. Yeah. Wood can crack or warp and nails can pull out. Right. But aluminum is more resilient. Mm, okay. It can bend without breaking. And the connections in these modular units are designed to withstand those forces. So in a hurricane or earthquake, an MHS structure would have a better chance of staying intact. Exactly. That's a pretty big deal, especially if you live in an area prone to those kinds of natural disasters. It is. And that resilience ties back into sustainability as well. Okay. Think about the resources and energy that go into rebuilding after a major storm or earthquake. Right. If your house can withstand those events, you're minimizing the need for reconstruction, which ultimately benefits the environment. That's a really interesting perspective. It's yep. like you're creating this ripple effect where one sustainable choice leads to another. Uh -huh. And ultimately, you're minimizing your impact on the planet. Exactly. I like it. And what's really fascinating is that this entire system, while groundbreaking in many ways, yeah. isn't entirely new. Cool. It's actually a reimagining of something that's been around for centuries. You're talking about the connection to traditional Asian building methods. Right. I've been wanting to dig into that a little more. Well, for centuries, post and beam construction has been prevalent in various parts of Asia, mm -hmm. particularly in countries like Japan and China. Okay. Think of those beautiful temples with their intricate wooden frameworks right, right. where vertical posts and horizontal beams create the strong open structure. Yeah. What MHS has done is taken that fundamental principle and adapted it using modern materials and technology. So instead of heavy timber beams, they're using lightweight recyclable aluminum to create that same kind of post and beam structure. Exactly. Wow. And in doing so, they're not only creating a more sustainable building system, right. they're also tapping into a rich architectural history. It makes you wonder what other time-tested building techniques could be reimagined for the 21st century. It's an exciting thought, isn't it? There's so much potential for innovation when we look to the past for inspiration. For sure. And speaking of innovation, the driving force behind all of this is a pretty remarkable individual. You're talking about Tim C. Hetgar. Yeah. The architectural engineer who invented the MHS system. That's right. Tell us more about him. Okay. What kind of vision led him to create something so unique? Well, from what I've read, Sia Hacker was always fascinated by the intersection of architecture, engineering, and sustainability. Okay. He wanted to create a building system that was not only structurally sound and aesthetically pleasing, but also environmentally responsible and adaptable to changing needs. So he wasn't just thinking about building houses. He was thinking about building a better future. It seems that way. That's amazing. And his commitment to that vision is evident in the numerous patents he holds for his modular aluminum systems, both in the U.S. and China. Wow. His work has also been recognized with numerous awards, which speaks to the global impact his innovations are having. It's inspiring to think that one person's passion and ingenuity can lead to such a transformative change in an industry as large and complex as construction. It is. And what's particularly impressive is how MHS is thinking beyond 
just individual homes. Okay. They're actively working to collaborate with cities and developers to create entire communities built with this system. That's where it starts to get really interesting. Yeah. You're talking about entire neighborhoods or even villages designed around these principles of sustainability, affordability, and multi-generational living. Exactly. That's a really cool idea. And that's not all. Okay. Remember how we talked about the versatility of the MHS system? Right. It's not limited to just houses. They yeah. can build pretty much anything with these modules. Wait, so we've gone from houses to entire communities, and now you're telling me they can build anything? Pretty much. What else are we talking about here? Well, they've already completed projects like car showrooms, event structures, and even classrooms, all built with these aluminum modules. Mm -hmm. And then there are the possibilities for things like backyard studios, guest houses, and even disaster relief shelters. That's amazing. The potential applications seem almost limitless. Okay, my mind is officially blown. Yeah. It's like they've taken the concept of building blocks to a whole new level. Oh, sure. But I have to ask. Yeah. Are there any downsides to this system? Well, I mean, it sounds almost too good to be true. Like any innovative technology, there are always challenges and considerations. Sure. For example, one potential drawback is the initial cost. Okay. Building with aluminum can be more expensive up front compared to traditional materials like wood. So it's an investment. Right. But one that could potentially pay off in the long run through energy savings and reduced maintenance costs. That's the idea. Go and on. then there's the perception of aluminum as a cold or industrial material. Right. Some people might find it less aesthetically pleasing than traditional wood or brick. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's not just about the practical benefits. It's also about shifting people's perceptions of what a home can look and feel like. Exactly. For sure. But I think as more people become aware of the advantages of aluminum, mm -hmm. its durability, recyclability, and versatility, right. those perceptions will start to change. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. It sounds like MHS is at the forefront of a pretty major shift in the way we think about building and living. They are, and that raises some interesting questions about the future of housing. Okay. Not just for families, but for society as a whole. Yes, I'm all ears. All right. Let's dive into those broader implications. It's funny, before we started this deep dive, I thought of housing as this pretty static thing. You mm. buy a house, you live in it, mm. maybe you renovate a bit, but that's about it. Right. But this whole conversation about MHS has really opened my eyes to the idea of housing as something that can evolve and adapt along with our lives. Yeah, it's a shift in perspective, isn't it? It is. We tend to think of buildings as these permanent structures, but what if there were more like living organisms able to grow and change over time? That's right. what's so intriguing about this modular approach. It makes you wonder, what if instead of being stuck with a house that no longer meets our needs, we could simply add or remove modules as our families grow or shrink. Yeah. Or maybe even relocate those modules to a new location if our circumstances change. That's the kind of flexibility that MHS is offering. Wow. And it's particularly relevant in a world where family structures are becoming increasingly diverse and fluid. Yeah. For sure. Think about blended families, multi-generational households, people choosing to live with friends or aging parents. Right. These are all situations where traditional housing models might not be the best fit. It's like we're moving away from the idea of the nuclear family home and embracing a more inclusive approach to housing that can accommodate a wide range of living arrangements. Exactly. Like that. And that has implications not just for individual families, but for communities as a whole. Imagine a neighborhood where homes can easily adapt to changing needs. Right. Where aging residents can stay in their homes longer with the support of their families. Uh -huh where young adults starting their careers can find affordable housing options within their communities. It's like you're weaving a stronger social fabric through innovative housing design. Exactly. Very cool. And it's not just about adapting to current trends. Right. It's about anticipating future challenges as well. Like what? Think about the impact of climate change and the increasing need for resilient housing solutions, uh -huh. or the rising cost of housing in many urban areas, and the growing demand for affordable options. Yeah, for sure. These are all issues that a flexible, sustainable building system like MHS could potentially address. So it's not just about aesthetics or convenience. Right. It's about creating housing solutions that are truly equitable and sustainable for the long haul. It is, and that brings us back to the idea of questioning assumptions. We've talked about challenging traditional notions of what a home should look like, 
But what about questioning the very process of building itself? Uh -huh. What if we could move away from wasteful construction practices and embrace a more circular model where materials are reused and recycled rather than discarded? It's like you're shifting the entire paradigm of the construction industry moving towards a model that's more in harmony with the environment. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the kind of systemic change that we need if we're going to create a truly sustainable future. Well, I have to say, this whole deep dive into MHS building systems has been a real eye-opener. Yeah, it's fascinating stuff. It's made me realize that the future of housing is not just about bricks and mortar. It's about innovation, adaptability, and a commitment to creating a better world for everyone. I couldn't agree more. And as we wrap up this conversation, I'd like to leave you with a thought. The next time you see a building under construction, take a moment to consider the possibilities. Okay. What if it were built differently? What if it were designed to meet the needs of not just one family, but an entire community? Wow. What if it were built to last for generations, its materials repurposed and reused again and again? Those are powerful questions, and I think they perfectly capture the essence of what MHS is trying to achieve. Yeah. A future where housing is not just a place to live, but a catalyst for positive change. Right. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It was fun. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep building a better future.